Hello and welcome to MIS 102 Management Information Systems. I'm Mike Amenti and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. MIS, in my opinion, is an extremely broad and very interesting topic. We're going to be covering databases, computer systems, management, and marketing. Some of this is going to be brand new to you, and that's perfectly okay. I don't want you to be intimidated by some of the topics we go over in this course. Uh, I'm always here. If you have any questions, please email me. I want to make sure you, you succeed and you have a better understanding of the topics we go about. Our book is split up into four major modules. Uh, chapters one through three cover why MIS. This is really your introduction to management information systems. Uh, four through six talk about information technologies. This goes a little bit more into the nuts and bolts of databases, computer systems. Seven through nine are using information systems for competitive advantage. This is your corporate tactics that we start to talk about. And 10 through 12 are managing information resources. Uh, like I said, I'm Mike Menti. Here is my contact information. I'm not a local instructor to St. Francis. I don't have an office on campus at all. I, I don't even live in Pennsylvania anymore. I live up in New Hampshire. Uh, that being said, I do have a personal goal of responding to your emails within 24 hours. Uh, if it is something urgent, feel free to text me. Uh, my number is there. If you do text me uh, in the beginning of that text, Please put your name and what class you're in, just so I have an idea of you know who I'm talking to and what we're talking about. So I'm not going to recognize your number. Uh, if you need any assistance in this course, please, please reach out to Miss April Fry. Her phone number and email are down there. Uh, her and I will work together to make sure that any of your needs are accommodated to help set you up for success in this course. A little bit about myself. I do have my MBA from St. Francis. I think it's an absolute great program, and I don't just say that because I teach for the Shield School of Business. Um, regardless of what your major is, an MBA looks really great on you, and I think that could be a, a very smart move for your, for your career. Um, outside of being an adjunct instructor for the university, I am the program manager. I run a quality management system for a government contractor. Our Primary customer is the U.S. Navy, specifically submarines. I am a reservist. I support uh, submarine operations throughout the world. And before that, I was an active duty submariner. My last boat was the USS Pittsburgh, based out of Groton, Connecticut. I'm from Johnstown, Pennsylvania. I did go to St. Francis for my undergrad and graduate. Uh, during undergrad, I was heavily involved in the scuba club. I actually uh, became a certified instructor at St. Francis. Uh, I was involved in Red Radio, a whole bunch of other activities on and off campus. I really want to direct your attention to the bottom part of this page. Uh, it is incredibly important that you have the book for this class. We rely so much on our text for our assignments, as well as for the information. I, I think this is one of the, the best MIS books, books out there right now. Uh, you see it is the 11th edition uh, that came out in 2019. So um, it, it is one of the newer books, but one of the caveats of any technology book is the moment it's printed, some things are obsolete about this. So uh, do keep that in mind with some of the information. That's just, that's what happens when you print information about such a uh, quickly growing field. If you don't have a physical copy of this book or you're not getting it soon, I do have a link that you can rent um, a PDF or an e-publication of the book, and we'll go over that when we look at our Canvas page. Our weeks will run from Monday through Sunday. All your assignments will be due Sunday at midnight. Um, late assignments are not accepted in this class. However, if something comes up and it is a valid reason, let me know ahead of time. I am more than willing to work with you if you let me know beforehand. Um, otherwise, if you turn something in late or you don't turn something in at all, it will be marked to zero. Um, that, is, that is a very hard and fast rule for this course. Uh, just email or text me if something comes up in your life and I will be more than happy to accommodate you. Every week we're going to have readings, discussions, exercises and quizzes. Um, I, I want to talk about a couple things with this. Uh, because this is an online course and we don't have any face-to-face -face meetings and we really miss out on that 
in classroom discussion period, which I think is so important uh, for learning. Uh, I do put a little more emphasis on our discussions. I want your discussion to be pretty substantial. I want your original post to be between 350 to 500 words. Feel free to go more if necessary. Uh, but I want these to be really well thought out discussions. Uh, you are required to respond to at least two of your classmates by Sunday. Uh, make these good responses. I don't want one or two words, oh, I agree with you, or that's really great insight. Um, I, I want you to tell me why you agree with them, or, or if you disagree with them, why. Uh, feel free to bring in outside sources. I want this to be a, a room for friendly debate on all of our discussions. Um, I will not, as a rule, I don't comment on every discussion. Some discussions I will comment on if I want to steer the topic in a certain direction or if I think that this is a really good topic, I, I want to get involved on it. Uh, but my participation or non-participation in a discussion topic doesn't mean that it's good or bad. Uh, I, I just might want to direct the conversation a little bit more, bring up an interesting, an interesting topic. On your weekly exercises, more often than not, you're going to be turning in a Word document. Um, I do expect some formatting. Um, all, yeah, I do want a heading, so if you look at that blue arrow, that is the heading I want on page one. Uh, first name, last name, MIS 102, my name, uh, whatever assignment it is, weekly exercise one, MIS final, and the date you turned it in. I also expect it to be... Um, the document itself to be named in a certain way. So you see right here, I give an example, uh, a mentee week one weekly exercise. So your last name and whatever the name of the assignment is. Um, if you don't do this, points will be taken off. And the reason I, I really push for this formatting is, this is an MIS class. We talk about databases. Databases function when data is inputted correctly and it is formatted correctly. Uh, for example, if all of the dates in our data, database need to be in month, day, year format, and you mix up any of those variables, you're just throwing bad data into that database. And in some instances, that can crash the database. I have seen this in my day job, and it is a huge headache and a work stoppage if the database is crashed because somebody doesn't input data in whatever prescribed formatting we had. So please, please, please follow the formatting for your header and in the way that I expect your files to be saved. As I talked before, we do have a final paper and a final quiz. I'm gonna go a little more into the final paper when we look at the canvas, but I do expect this to be substantial. And I understand that this may be the first large final research paper that you do in a collegiate setting, and that's perfectly fine. Um, your base requirements is it needs to be five to 10 pages, double space, 12 point font, margins all around. Uh, when we go into the Canvas page, we'll talk a little bit about, you know, what the topic is and some expectations. Uh, but I, I do have high expectations for this paper. I do want a, a very well-polished paper that gets turned into me. The last thing we're going to talk about in regards to the syllabus is academic honesty. Uh, it's incredibly important to St. Francis and the School of Business that the information you turn in is your own work. If you cite work, that's fine. Um, cite appropriately. Uh, I'm not incredibly picky if it's MLA formatting or APA formatting. Just make sure you give credit where credit is due. This is so important to the Franciscan goals of higher education. This is why you're paying so much to go to St. Francis. You're being held to a higher standard. And this also gets you into a proper mindset when you get out into the corporate world for whatever your career path is. At some point in time, you might have to write a white paper. You might have to do some sort of sales report. Any sort of reports that gets turned into your superiors, we need to have proper source documentation to back up all the data that you have. All right, so here is the MIS 102 homepage. Uh, this is uh, an instructor view, so there's going to be a little bit more information on here that might be on your page, but it's not going to look too unfamiliar. Uh, right off the bat down here, I do have the entire syllabus. Uh, please read over it in its entirety, even though we did just breeze over it. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Uh, then go to the start here. Um, this kind of introduces you into Canvas. I understand this could be your first time doing an online course. 
uh, and that's fine. We're going to make this as easy as possible. Uh, you're watching the introduction video, which you found right here. Uh, after that, like I said before, you need the book. You can get it from the bookstore. You can also lease it over here. This goes to a company called Vital Source. They have PDF versions as well as e-publication versions. Um, the only real difference between the, these two is the e-publication version is a little more interactive. There are hyperlinks in it that will immediately jump to you, certain information for you. Same price for both. I've had students in the past use both of these, and I haven't had any complaints as of yet with them. Uh, so if you don't have the physical copy, please, please get, uh, get one of these digital copies. Uh, again, I have another reference link for our syllabus. I do expect you to fill out our bio profile discussion. Um, you know, we do miss out a lot of face-to-face -face interaction in an online course, so I do expect you to have a brief little bio about yourself, uh, where you're from, what's your major, some interesting facts about it. Um, you don't have to respond on the bio profile like you do on the other discussions, but feel free to do so. I want this to be a very friendly and opening environment for everyone. If we go back to our Start Here assignments. Um, after that, I have a navigation assignment and Start Here quiz. These are not graded. I have developed these if this is your first online course or if you haven't taken an online course in a while. This will help you get more comfortable with submitting documents online and doing quizzes in a Canvas environment. You can do this as many times as you want. It will not count against your grade. If you feel confident in online classes, you don't have to do this. Uh, I do recommend you at least brush over just to get familiar with some of the buttonology with Canvas. Finally, after that, continue on to week one. Uh, keep in mind that the Start Here assignments and week one run currently. All of these are due on the 23rd, uh, but all of assignments in week one are graded. Uh, this kind of follows your typical week. I do have a video. I want you to read the chapter or chapters we talk about and look at the PowerPoint. Uh, my weekly videos cover the PowerPoint, but it is an abridged version of the PowerPoint. I don't go over slide for slide. Uh, I go over the main topics. Sometimes I get a little bit off path to expand your knowledge to, to really try to make things exciting for you. Other than that, typically you're going to be uh, tasked with a discussion topic, a weekly exercise, and a quiz for each week. And like I said, those are all due Sunday. We do have a final research paper. I want a uh, topic emailed to me before week four. So weeks one, two, three, and four, I'm going to have constant reminders to send me a topic. I do want to approve this. So you're required to write a final MIS research paper on a specific information technology or system of your choice. I know this sounds incredibly broad, but I want you to pick something that interests you and then adapt some of the topics in the book. Maybe you want to talk about each layer of it, the hardware layer, the software layer, how this interacts with somebody. This could be a smart TV, maybe a Roku, maybe an Internet of Things, an IoT device. Um, if you're absolutely unsure, send me an email. We can spitball some things back and forth. The reason I want your topic approved, I want to make sure that, one, you're not picking something that's too incredibly broad or too incredibly easy. And I also want to help direct you into, uh, into a really good topic that's going to set you up for success. I've had a lot of students in the past, you know, like, well, I want to talk about iPhones. Okay, great. But your iPhone or your smartphone can do a thousand different things. What about that device do you really want to home in on and discuss? Um, all of the guidelines and the grading criteria are here. Um, the final paper and the final quiz are really substantial parts of your grade. I want you to take these seriously. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, as always, if you have any questions on this video, the syllabus, introduction topics, or anything as we go along, please reach out to me, email me, text me. I will be more than happy to sit down and to really make sure you understand this information. So continue on with uh, your week one assignments, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you in this class.